Hello everyone, this is Serafira. This is a seven day, seven days to die game. I, um, in this game I've built, um, well, started building Hogwarts, but uh, as a lot of you people who play Seven Days that I know, the Fun Pimps are working on Alpha 17. Um, so way back in, I don't know, what was it, April? Could have been earlier than that. They said, hey, it was coming out soon. So I stopped working on it because I thought everything was going to go poof. Well, here it is, October 1st, and they're still not done. So, eh, and I stopped working on it, I don't know, four months ago. So, I figured I should at least take a video of it, so it, I have it somewhere. Uh, so here it is. So, where I am now is what I envision in my mind, is the Seven Days to Die world. It's all Seven Days to Die, but um, out here, put up some signs, private road, uh, kind of going with Privet Drive from Harry Potter. Um kind of the real world out here, and then I made a really long bridge across the river to a high mountainside. So that's where Hogwarts is, and what I'm doing is flying. So as you can see, it looks like the bridge gets cut off, um, but it actually goes all the way across the river. Here's the map. Very, very long, upright bridge, and over here will be Hogwarts. Um, so we'll use flying so we can get over there quickly. So, basically as a player, if you were in this world, you could come up to this bridge on Privet Drive, if you want to call it that. Open the drawbridge. Close it behind you, so not that there are zombies spawning at the moment, but you could stop them from coming in across the bridge. As you can see, it's all raised. Um, spiders shouldn't be able to climb it. And you start going across. Very long. It's even when you're flying. It takes quite a while. Eventually you get to a point that isn't quite Hogwarts. It's kind of an in-between state for me. Um, it's where I call the, the beginning of the, whatever it is, the covered wooden bridge. Uh, it's not exactly like that in um, Harry Potter more. But... Uh, so this is my covered bridge from the outside, and as you can see across the river, still can't see Hogwarts. But this is my covered bridge. So I've got a couple signs out here for people walking to Hogwarts, School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, or vice versa as I have it put. Um, and I have some boxes for people to come in. Um, so you could choose a bunch of blue clothes if you wanted, and I added specific weapons for each house. Not really Harry Potter with machine guns and stuff, but um, I'm not making a mod. I'm just using the vanilla game. Be curious to see if you could make a mod where you could make wands and things like that, but I'm not doing that currently. So here is the covered bridge on the inside. Not really lit up yet until you get closer to Hogwarts. You can see, you can still see the mountainside. It's not quite Hogwarts yet. Now it's starting to fill in over there as we get closer. It's kind of what I was going for was on the far distance. It's kind of hidden from, if you want to call it, muggles. And as you get closer, you as whatever, if you want to call yourself a young wizard, fine, go for it. Um, you enter Hogwarts and you can see everything. So this is the entrance to what the clock tower is. The big courtyard here. Uh, there's um, stairs in here. Or ladders probably. Ladders going down to just a little small room. You don't need to see that. It just goes up to the second area. Just a little room with arrow slits. And this should be second level, yep, where you're kind of on the inside of the courtyard. You can look up at the, the main building there. You can look out through the arrow slits at the wooden bridge. See if I have bigger windows. There we go. Bigger windows with inside the, the wooden bridge, the wooden covered bridge. Uh, this also leads into... 
Hogwarts itself. The inside it really isn't done. As I said, I stopped working on it a while ago. Uh, this is the inside. We'll go in from the other direction too. So there is a lot more to it than just this building. Um, kind of one of my favorites. I like the design here. Some stairs coming from up. Kind of taking this design from some pictures I've seen of the movie, and there's some pictures of a model that they have in the UK. Um, very large model. It's probably um, 20, let's go by meters or more in diameter. So that's kind of what this is based off structurally. Uh, got some trees inside. Got a little side courtyard here. Again, you can come in to either direction. So there's lots of winding staircases inside. Mostly the as you're looking from the outside, the right side is kind of done, especially when as you go for stairs. Um, I believe I have a dorm on the next this level? Yep, this level. I've got a little dorm here. Um, they have their own little fire pit, places to sit and places to study. Uh, there's their bunks. It's not really looking like Gryffindor did with their with their bunks, but you got your toilet and your shower. <laughs> so this is kind of what I'm calling with the blue top, a Ravenclaw dorm. We'll go outside and look at it more. Again, this is just the inside of the first clock tower. I don't know if there's a more official word name for that specific tower. I'm just going to fly up here a little bit. As you can see, there's lots of winding staircases. It's supposed to be semi-confusing. Although it all seems to go the same way. Um, look at the very top. This is kind of a meeting slash you have dances here um, the outside of the clock tower and looking down the courtyard. So if you're up here, you go across this bridge that's supposed to be a chasm down below. Again, we got some more buildings, another courtyard type area. Um, as you can see, I've dug this out of the mountainside. It took me a very long time. I think most of my work was actually digging it out. So on this tower, which leads into another building. Oops, I should turn flying off. There we go. Just a long way down to more stairs and more entrances to both an outside courtyard. That leads that you can look out over the chasm and the bridge of below. There are some floating revenants here. Um, so I don't know how many of you people know, but as you're destroying things, in seven days to die and trying to get things to fall, sometimes they float. So I thought, well, this is Hogwarts and Harry Potter world. I'll leave them floating as some sort of magical thing. I'll show you once we get outside and start flying around. So we're inside another building, obviously not done at all. Uh, but as you can see, it's a pretty large structure so far. So I think I'll start flying outside because there's not a whole lot more to see. So. Kind of go up and show you. See here some of the floating pillars, which I kind of think works with the magical Harry Potter type world. Um, here's the outside. I've got lots of windows and things. Again, here's the, the first courtyard covered bridge. So this large semi-circular building is, I believe, where the Grand Master's Dumbledore's study is supposed to be at the very top, where you take that um, Griffin elevator stairs all the way up to his office is. Uh, I have not had a chance to put roof on it yet. This should be uh, mirrored on the other side, that way. So 
some reason this roof took a very long time. It kept collapsing on me. I know you can turn uh, physics off so that they won't collapse on you, but that was part of the fun for me was trying to get everything to work correctly without collapsing. This was also difficult since it was very long. I am imagining that the very top of this tower could be difficult or next to impossible to put the roof on it, especially if it's going to be similar to this. It'd be nice. I can't quite figure out how to make it as round as I would like, so they're all kind of square slash triangle. So, in the grand scheme of things, where Harry Potter is, this should be leveled out along this. This hallway, there's kind of a, a ground, um, natural uh, stone and dirt path that's supposed to come up here to this hallway and then it goes around and over here is where the grand or great hall is supposed to be where you normally see Harry Potter and his friends eating um, when they first come to school and all those meetings and things like that. Um, this is again it should be a leveled off totally so you know they're going to have an underground area here as well. Uh, but this should be leveled off as a courtyard and built in. Um, over here, this all needs to go. Be a huge chasm that goes with a river through here, and then more structures over on that side. Uh, and I stopped working on it a long time ago because I figured 17 was coming out any day. Well, that didn't happen. <laughs> um, I also have a couple semi-secret entrances out here on the ground level flying off again for a second. So, one that leads into this first tower. Just come in on the outside. Um, I know you don't want uh, the one that shall not be named having an easy access, but I uh, just figured I'd make something a little fun here. Kind of goes under to the side of the courtyard. Um, there are one other little entrance here, and it's down here, a little, not quite that much harder to see, but <sighs> see a yeah, zombie when I had them turned on and broke the slider at one time. So you come up, you can kind of see the outside, uh, leads into one of those pits that you come across in Seven Days to Die. Um, I've got it all covered. It's, this is directly underneath the courtyard. Uh, I don't know if you kind of recognize it with the spikes outside, but this is just above would be the opening of the pit. I kind of opened it up, definitely covered it, put all these um, block glass in here. So maybe you'll recognize it a little bit more as you come in. Uh, obviously all the cement wasn't here before. But there's the nitrate comes the leg, tights. Uh, there was a bed in here at one time. I don't remember if there was a workbench or if I put one here. Um, but you got your your gun store box that were that comes with the original cave system, and then it ended here. So what I did was I dug back here to make an underground workshop all the way down to the bottom. Um, I'll show you the, the elevation levels when they come back up. So here we are at the bottom. I put some cement at the bottom. Let's just look at the map. So we're at negative 56. So I didn't actually, I started this game as a normal game. Uh, my original game started way over, let's see, it's been a while since I've been on this obviously a few months. I think it was just over this peak, so I think I was right over around here, and I made something called Blender and another underground workshop and things like that. So maybe I'll show you a Blender in Alpha 17 when it comes out. Um, or if it takes Alpha 17 a really long time, maybe I'll make a video of that with a zombie horde. You can see we're on day 213. Um, I probably have messed with the Oops, looks like we uh, had some collapses in here, probably for me destroying things on top. Um, 
kind of a strange thing that as you're destroying things on top of them, they fall. They fall through the earth. Oops, I'm probably gonna have to destroy some stuff here. Although, let's just use this dev gun. And they land on the bottom if you've got an opening like this. Kind of strange. So, this was all cleared out at one point. So, again, you have to come in this way to your workshop, or my workshop, I should say. I didn't originally start clearing all the land with this dev gun. I was actually doing it with uh, first with the pick, sometimes with an auger. Not sure which is better, but this is kind of my workshop where I've got a bunch of places to store things. Oh, that's probably. Okay, so that's what that noise was. Got a mini bike down here um, that travels between my fourth. Benches. I got a bunch of forges, cement mixers. This is where I started making everything until I figured, well, this is going to take me months and months, which it was. And then even when I started switching over to a creative mode, it still, it still took me months to get what I have upstairs completed. Uh, actually, let's just hit um, debug. And let's see if I can turn collision off and we can just whoop, I'm gonna fly to do that there we go uh, so we're under Hogwarts here um, you can see that the tunnel from the secret entrance comes way over there yeah into my workshop see the secret tunnel continues over there and way 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 over there on the other side of the mountains and forests and deserts or whatever is my original base which maybe I will show you some other time Okay, so back in Hogwarts, here we are, we're at plus 29, so the top of this tower without a roof comes to, yeah, plus 115, so I don't know how much room I have, I don't remember what the top of the world is for building, um, I'm not sure if I have enough space even to put a proper roof on top of this right now, anyway. Um, so anyway, this is my Hogwarts build. Uh, looks kind of cool at night. You can see it's coming night. I don't want to waste too much time, so... Uh, just kind of flying around. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. hope you like it. Uh, maybe I'll work on it some more, depending on how long Alpha 17 comes to takes to come out. Um, I'm not sure yet. I don't know if I will build something similar, another Hogwarts in Alpha 17. I'd like to, because I'd like to see it finished. There's a ton of more work to do. I would say this is not even one-fourth of what it should be. I don't even know if it's an eighth. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Comments below if you liked it, and I guess I'll talk to you later. Thanks.